let's now make the another side of our playground let's start making our rods here okay a circular rods here and we are going to see how we can use the array function here to you can say make our process a bit easier so let's go into the circle command and let's just wait here for this particular time at this particular point so don't click anything just hover over this particular point and then move upward so what is it is going to do it is going to snap at that particular point and then we can move up at particular you can say position okay so this is kind of you can say a dynamic uh, snap kind of a thing in this uh, sketchup so now what we can do we can place our circle at any particular point let's uh, place this point here and now what you can do you can give it a diameter let's give it a diameter of one inches press enter so our circle has been made at the exact center and how we did we did it by snapping at that particular point and for snapping what you have to do you just have to hover or you can say you just have to be there at uh, two second or three second then it is going to be uh, snapping now let's pull this particular thing go to push and pull uh, option pull this particular thing and snap it at this particular edge so you can see the rod has been done now we want to make a copy of it so how we can do that particular thing so in this particular case the array function comes in handy now what array function do array function kicks in after you make a copy of a particular thing so let's first make this particular thing a component so i am going to right click it and i am going to click my component so i have told you earlier that component when we make components components are made when that particular thing is going to get repeated okay or we want a particular number of that uh, model uh, in our project so when we need a multiple copy of that particular thing we make component and we want when we are making all of the things in one uh, group so at that particular position what we are going to do we are going to make it a group so right now we are making it a component so i'm going to create it a component now we want to copy it so go on to the move command uh, select the starting point you can just snap it around and you can move in the vertical direction right now i am moving but the moment i am going to hit control on my keyboard i'm just hitting control i'm not pressing it and then if i move upward it is going to make a copy of it. so what i have just told you that the array command kicks in just after copy so it is right now getting copy so we need to put it somewhere at a particular position suppose we are putting it this at this particular position so i'm going to left click it now how much copy i want uh, of this bar suppose i need four copies of this bar at this particular distance so on the keyboard i am going to write four x that is four times x and i am going to press enter so the moment i am going to hit enter it is going to be like that now suppose we want to reduce it to three i don't want four so uh, the command is still on you can just type three x i just want to reduce one so i am degrading from four x to three x i am going to hit enter so it is going to delete one just remember one thing this three x four x need to be input at just after you can say copying the particular uh, object uh, the, if you are going to click and somewhere else the command is going to get uh, you can say deactivated and it is not going to perform so copy first and then press 3x 4x and hit enter okay so this is quite simple so you can make uh, uh, 